You watch Euro, you talked about Euro. Who do you think it will win? Do you know what? It's a really good question because there's, there's still so many strong teams, but you can never, never discount France, you know? Even you though they're not. Do you want France to win? I, no, no, I don't want France to win. You know, they're not my favourite. The best footballing team at the minute is Spain. You know, I love watching Spain and again they have this sort of their own identity, how to, how to play. Um, Germany looks strong, but I don't know if they've got enough depth. England are fortunate, but it's good to be fortunate. In a big teams are fortunate. In a tournament, yeah, sometimes the big teams get the luck. So they, they, and sometimes you make your own luck. So I would say at the minute, you know, um, Spain look the, the best team, but I think the strength and depth of France, when they click in the gear, they may be, they'll, they'll be the team to beat. Okay, so what about Romanians' performance? Fantastic. You, you, Romanians have got to be so proud of their, their team. The team left everything out there on the pitch, everything. The coach did a, 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 a did an amazing job. You know, to get through the group, top of the group, that's a, a, a fantastic achievement. And, you know, sometimes quality counts and they just came up against a, a t Colin were on the game, you know. The first goal changed the whole game. You know, Romania started against Holland very well. Then the first goal came and the psychology of the game changed and, and Holland showed their quality. But I thought Romania had a great tournament. And I thought their supporters were the supporters of the tournament. They were amazing. Just that colour of yellow everywhere. The yellow one. Oh, fantastic. And yeah. <laughs> Isn't it so good? You know, it's what I'm sure it's what you... You know, football fans have been waiting for for a long time. And you can feel it, you can feel the pride. And even watching the game with the, the players, you know, how much it means to everybody. It's, it's great to have that intensity back in the country. So who was the most uh, surprising team in Europe? Well, Romania were a surprise. Yeah. You know, there's no question. Um, Slovenia, you know, they surprised me. Yeah, yeah didn't lose the game. You know, when they took Portugal all the way, the penalties. Um, England have been surprising because of the flatness of their performances, you know. Did you expect that? No, not with the attack and talent that they have. But it happens, you know, sometimes it happens. But there's still time for them to really blossom and show what they can do. But, you know, I have to say that, you know, some of the teams that Italy were disappointing. Italy, you know, and I'm surprised Croatia went out so early as well. Is it true that uh, big teams have uh, tired players? Tired? After a no. long season? No, that, that's just uh, that's a myth. Yeah. These players are fit. You know, you, you look at all the great players, Alex, Messi, Ronaldo, okay? They play every game. Yeah, but they don't have any holidays or vacation or... Yeah, they do. They do. They do it in the right way. They do, you know, Messi, every game for Barcelona, every game for Argentina, you know, all the great, Harry Kane plays all the games, you know, so when you're a player and you are that good, or when you're a player at the top level, you want to play, you want to play, you don't want to be rested, you want to play the games because you're scared of missing out. So sometimes managers come up with this, oh, they're a little bit tired, we need to rotate. Okay, I get that. But when you're playing in a major tournament, you don't get tired. So you never lost your motivation. Mentally, mentally sometimes you get tired, but physically you should be fine.